I've just fitted this point with one of my Scotch or cam point motors. Um, and at the moment, the motor is simply wired up to a single AA battery and it doesn't even have a switch on it. It's just got two wires to touch together, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, but let's see it operate. Uh, unlike most point motors, this simply needs a push to make to operate. So it's a slow speed motor. You can see that operate. And uh, the thing holds the blades in position uh, by the sprung wire, effectively. And that seems to operate perfectly well. Let's have a look at the underside, uh, if you'll excuse the dodgy camera work. Let me turn it upside down. And... That's it. Now, the blades of the point on this are actually under one of the arches. So this here is uh, a crank to transmit the motion. Um, and you can see the motor assembly here. And this is what actually does the work and we have here the operating slider in there sorry for my finger and just effectively bent nickel silver wire which transmits the load or the action to the crank and provides a spring uh, and the benefit of that, or one of the benefits of that, is it'll work for any gauge and it's so easy to set up. Uh, you can make it, uh, well, you can almost put the point motor anywhere and set it up to operate. Let me just operate this upside down, touch the wires. You see? the blades don't move very far at all and you can see it pulling and pushing nice and neatly now there we go this motor we've seen before in a previous vid it's an N20 motor operating a cam and that cam has various detents you see here on the right there is a micro switch that isn't wired up. That is for detection, so that uh, if you want an indicator light, an LED, showing you which way the blades are set, uh, you wire it up to that LED. Alternatively, you could have that operating uh, signal or whatever, something like that. On the other side, we have a pair of micro switches. The bottom micro switch is stopping the cam this is connected to the motor and it's stopping the cam every 180 degrees which is ever so important and the top micro switch there uh, switches the frog polarity uh, so all in all uh, this little thing can do most things you want it to do and I've got, got it, uh, the frog wired to this PCB and it goes into, uh, down through the board or up through the board to the frog itself. Now, <coughs> point motors is always a, a hassle when they're under the baseboard because how do you get to it if it goes wrong, etc, etc. This one, it splits. Now, there's a piece of nickel silver wire there, you can see. Uh, I'm just going to straighten that bend out a touch like that 
and pull that out and this then will pull away like that and you can see what's left is the actuating mechanism itself which can stay permanently attached to the baseboard um, and then you have the motor and switch unit there with the cam and you can see the cam there and the only connection to the unit that's on the baseboard is that round slot and the peg on that slider there locates in that round slot and that does the pulling and pushing um, so if you need to if you've got a problem with this which would be surprising because it's so simple but if you do have a problem with this uh, you can just uh, unpin it and um, make it a bit more convenient to do a little bit of work on whatever it is you're doing uh, so I suspect it's a bit more convenient than most point motors as far as that's concerned and to replace it it's simply a matter of putting it back in position putting the wire through and just bending it over so it isn't going to come unplugged again and there we have our point motor ready for action again and to prove it I shall just hopefully flip it back over again famous last words without dropping it or or breaking it carefully and you can see that's the battery that's doing the operate doing the powering and these two wires here on my switch I've got a simple switch on order but, so here we go And it's as simple as that and the whole thing is uh, PLA prints with uh, in fact this is a 12 volt 60 rpm n20 motor running off in this instance one and a half volts you can select any motor you want it's absolutely fine with three micro, micro switches and two mil nut and bolts to put it together as you fancy um, and that's all there is to it but I think it's a very useful little motor myself so there we go first time actually rigged to a motor and working